Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. The tiny little community of Hudson's Hope just became the solar capital of British Columbia. The community is part of a large district surrounded by big dam projects and close to oil and gas country in northeastern BC. But that hasn't stopped the place dubbed as the playground of the peace from embracing solar energy. My name is Gwen Johansson. I'm the mayor of the district of Hudson's Hope, which is the third largest, geographically speaking, municipality in the province, 427 square miles. Population-wise, and not so much, we're about 1,000 to 1,200 people, and it's a very nice community to live in. The community latched on to federal gas tax funds and, thanks to the vision of its mayor, has installed 500 kilowatts of solar on just about every building in Hudson's Hope. So there are nine installations. It's mostly rooftop. All of the municipal buildings pretty well have panels on them. And then the sewage lagoons, which have no buildings, has a solar array that's mounted on posts. It's a large one. It's half a megawatt. So the larger ones are the ice skating arena and the public works shop. We just built a new shop last year, so we had the opportunity to make sure we oriented the building so it would be an optimum location for solar generation. So those are the two biggest ones. We also have them on the curling rink. On the municipal office, the visitor center. Then there is the fire hall, and soon the outdoor swimming pool. Johansson says the idea probably started when a local resident installed solar on his home. We also had a fellow, a local resident, who had done some work on solar, and he had just decided that as his statement for a livable planet, that he would put some solar on his roof, and he put on a quite a large array for his roof. And he ended up putting more electricity into the hydro grid than he took out. The resident posted pictures of his utility bill and the check he received at the end of the year. And this got some folks thinking. But Johansson says going solar was purely a pragmatic decision for Hudson's Hope. You know, I I did the math and the Peace Energy Co-op did the math. And we could see that if we had solar panels, we would be reducing the amount of electricity that we had to purchase, and it would result in considerable savings. BC has had low electricity prices historically, but perhaps it's the Site C dam or other reasons, but prices are going up. Johansson says Hudson's Hope will save $70,000 a year with solar. So, how have other communities reacted to Hudson's Hope Solar? It put Hudson's Hope on the map. When I took it to the mayor's conference in Prince George, where all of the northern mayors were gathered, there was a lot of interest there in doing something similar. Mayor Johansson credits the Peace Energy Cooperative with their success in helping raise funds for installing all of the solar in Hudson's Hope and for inspiring other residents to install solar at the same time. Next week, we look at the Peace Energy Cooperative the oldest and one of the most successful renewable energy cooperatives in Western Canada. Learn more about Hudson's Hope Solar. Check out our blog and photos at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.